Hello guys, this is Anka. In this tutorial, we're going to be start working on a bank application project. Okay, this application will allow the user to enter the PIN for the account and then after they have successful, that the PIN is correct, then they can deposit withdraw and view the balance. Okay, let's start working on the application right now. So I'm just going to create a new project by clicking file, new project, new Java project. I'm going to call it bank application. Click next and then click finish. In this uh, project, I'm just going to create a new class. New class. Com dot it solutions. I'm going to create my main class. I'm just going to call it the main class which will have the main method okay having done this i'm just gonna create another class and i'm gonna call it uh, account okay finish in my account class what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get some attributes private string uh, int acc number which is account number private uh, int long in. okay private double class for now we can be three like this and then I am just gonna generate getters and setters for this class. I'm just gonna how do you do it with this and this? Okay, I'm just gonna click source here and generate getters and setters. Is that all? Then we are done with our account class like this. Okay, I'm just gonna create another class. I'm gonna call it uh, account repository. Repository. Okay, and this is where I will be defining public account. ACC deposit deposit okay account ACC okay for now let's return now now then Withdraw. Withdraw like this. These two methods. ECC. Uh, and query. Okay. Yeah. For now, we have set up our structure of the application okay let's continue this video in the next tutorial thank you hello guys this is hunter let's continue where we left in the previous tutorial we created a model of an account we created this account repository in this tutorial let us create um generate a method or let's create a method that will at least generate uh, accounts for us uh, a list of accounts so let's do that to do that we need to i forgot that we need to add a constructor in this class to do that let's just go to source in your ellipse and generate constructation fields click uh, select all and then okay then save 
you go to your account repository we're going to create a new method of public this is going to be a list of oops sorry this is going to be a list of accounts uh, generate accs okay now i am going to create a list of account equals to new array list like this so let's import uh, the java from java.util let's import it from java.util and then we're going to give this a name acc list like so and then we're going to return it acc list okay yeah so let us just say acc list dot add new account account has got what is called uh, the constructor takes in the account number the pin and the balance so i'm gonna put the account number as 100 and <laughs> like this one one zero 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 one and the pin will be one 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 and the balance will be 390 okay like th like that we can do this for um, at least five four is okay i'll put two here three here and then four here put two here here and then four here this one has got seven and eight here. this one has got um, one thousand and then I'll count this one has got a seventy like that okay now with this method at least we've got uh, our list of accounts generated okay let's try to print these accounts out okay Let's go to our main method. Let me make this a static method so that I can just call it by the name of the class. Okay. The list of account uh, ACCS equals to this class dot these accounts from okay let's import the class uh, from uh, a tier yeah like so okay i'm gonna iterate over this loop for accs oops sorry from account ac in accs like that and hence for loop and then I'm just gonna print out ACC, ac dot get the account number. Sorry, let's get the account balance, get the balance like so. And then we are gonna print this to the console system dot system dot out dot print LM. Like this, mm -hmm. and then let's try to run it. See whether it prints out the balance for each balance for each account. I meant so, yeah, 390, 780, respectively. That's how we generated them this side 390, 780, 1000, and this amount okay now we are done with this tutorial we managed to generate in the next tutorial we're going to be authenticating into an account using the pins these pins okay when we authenticate using the pin if the pin is 111 then we're going to return an object or 
and account details that this account number is one thousand and one and return its balance we don't have to return the pin it's a secret pin so see you in the next tutorial guys have a nice day please subscribe to my channel hello guys in the previous tutorial we just did we created a method that will generate accounts for us and we printed all those accounts with the accounts information in our main method okay in this tutorial let's uh, create some form of authentication uh, that will allow a user to enter the pin if they have access entered the correct pin then we return the account they have with the 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 details of that account okay in this class account repository i'm gonna minimize this method generate ccs and then here i am just gonna create a public uh, i'm gonna make it a static method it's going to return account and then it's going to say authenticate i'm gonna say authenticate and then i'm just gonna take in i'm just gonna accept a pin like that simple right so and um what i'm gonna do here is that i am going to uh take this pin this pin i'm gonna compete with the pins in this list so i need to generate this list again a list of account Mm, accounts like this equals to this list that was generated here okay as like this okay so having done this i'm going to use a for loop to iterate over this accounts to look for any account that matches that has a pin that matches the one that was accepted through the console so I'm just gonna use a enhance for loop for <laughs> account C in these accounts like this. Okay. Works like this. After iterating over this collection, I'm just gonna compare this object dot get pin equals equals to the pin that was entered so this is a comparison it's gonna say if if these are equal or these two pins are equal okay we're gonna return this object uh, this account okay we're gonna return this account right yeah and then account system we can just say no okay we're gonna return this account we don't have to type anything and here we can just return nothing because we, whenever our application reached this point means that it couldn't find anything here so i think this, this is enough okay this will look for p or this will authenticate a p so let's try this let's test this let me just type something here. System dot out dot print. like this. Account found. Found. Else. Let's just say account not found. Just to see if uh, the function will work not found to do this let's go to our main method you know <laughs> main method here yeah. yeah this is when we were printing our 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 accounts so we can just get rid of it like this i'm just gonna use this plus dot authenticate account okay let's just enter something that we know exists in the database or in our list okay and uh, maybe something that doesn't something that doesn't so the first one should say
can't found this first statement should read I can't found the second one not found I cannot found okay get rid of this and use import run account found account not found why is it why why is it oops sorry why is it printing so many account found and account not found let me let me go back and look at what is going down here oh i need to return here otherwise it's gonna loop 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 continue loop so i need to return here return. yeah yeah mm -hmm. so yeah you see so <laughs> Those I cannot find, I cannot find, I cannot find was caused by uh, this else statement is within this for loop. So the for loop had not finished looping. So I had to break it with this return statement now. Because if I don't, it will keep on looping and printing the same statement again and again until the loop finishes. Okay. So it's similar, even if I don't. Put this return here to print account found account found account found okay if you just learn how to play around with loops you will understand these concepts better so our authentication works okay uh we are able to we were able to generate accounts okay so if our authentication works then let's see if we can return information account information okay once we'll be able to return account information to the user on the console then they can be able to deposit and withdraw. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Comment, like, share the video for knowledge. Bye.